Why is it a must for you to master your finances? Me being a slave to money has ruined every job, every relationship, and every like cool project I've ever done. I want the freedom and security, um, and that I also know I'm meant to have everything I want. I just want to create the legacy that I was born to, to, to have and make an impact in the world. Deciding you're not going to buy into the story. It's making a real decision that you know exactly what to do. So you can just storm through anything that comes your way, no matter what the season. I love numbers and numbers love me. Again, I love numbers and numbers love me. Makes no difference what part of the financial life cycle you're in, whether it's winter, spring, summer, or fall, you get to choose where you're going. You have to start with what's possible. If you and I want to have an extraordinary quality of life, we got to look at this and say, we're going to do it by investing. If you're not going to be just a consumer, but you're going to get lots of income for life, then you need to be an owner. It's the most important investment decision of your life. Not the stock, not the bond, not the little thing he didn't tell you. It's going to be your asset allocation. The holy grail of investing is not finding what you believe is the single best investment because there's a significant chance that you will be wrong. But when you break it up into maybe it's five different types of investments and balance them well with similar risk and return profiles, that's powerful. The truth is, the dream is reality. We get sucked back into reality, right? We get distracted, we get busy with life. So if there's anything that we can hold on to for the wealth of the world, may every one of us not hate, may every one of us not blame, may every one of us forgive just a little bit more, just like that. There are a lot of people say, what does spirituality and abundance or prosperity have to do with each other? Actually, there are two sides of the same coin. In order to be prosperous and be happy, you always have to have that spiritual component inside because that is your center. For us to be truly dirt honest with ourselves about what are those limiting beliefs and what's holding us back. So you can be free and remember the truth of truly what's possible. We're going to be talking about how to improve all aspects of our life, but let's keep one thing in mind. Your health truly is your wealth. The goal is not to have the highest numbers. The goal is to have the highest, deepest quality of life. Wealth is so much more than just money in our bank account. It's so much more than the spreadsheets that we'll need today. Our wealth is our health and our vibrancy and our energy and each other. And the moments, those magical moments that we share together. A negative mind will never give you a positive life. And as we've said before, the world's biggest problems are the world's biggest business opportunities. A lot of us, when we buy something, whether it's Bitcoin or real estate or a stock or a bond, we never sell it, no matter what news comes our way. And the reason is something called the endowment effect. If you succumb to that endowment effect of never wanting to let go, you will eventually lose because everything eventually fades. Wealth follows you when you are courageous enough to open up your heart, ask better questions, and align with your unique, specific, and important calling. It's your task as a leader to figure out how do you get the message across, and realizing it may take time, and realizing it, it, it takes uh, planning the idea so that when an opportunity comes or a crisis comes, you're ready. The big risk in starting a business is if you build it, will they come? It's easy for a startup to dissolve into a hobby. You know, the, the difference between a business and a hobby is a business makes money. The reason that you think that you're poor, the reason that you're not healthy, the reason that you have maybe bad relationships is that your glass needs expanding. You have to increase the context. 
those that get to be role models, those that get to pivot, those that go to another level, those that can help give back, take care of their family, are the ones right now who are taking uncomfortable action. We've never had this ability to have a global monetary instrument that you could send person to person with no trusted party in the middle. There's something about adding value where it comes back to you tenfold. It's really now about what can you give, what can you contribute, what can you enjoy more of? Because you learn how to add value, you learn how to have a meaningful life, you learn how to live in a beautiful state no matter what. So all you'll experience is deeper and deeper love, greater and greater relationships, more and more variety and growth and expansion, because the things other people struggle with are not a struggle for you. That's the promise. And you'll deal with all those things better if money isn't constantly a survival issue.